Anthony? Yeah. Tiger Woods has blonde hair now. <laughs> he does, does he? What a segue. <laughs> Tiger Woods blonde hair. I didn't see that. Yeah, he dyed his hair. He's, he, Why'd he do that? Uh, Anthony, actually, though, uh, uh, did you see the, the QVC guy? Oh, I was going to say, uh, over the holiday, he was in full force. I can't get enough of watching the, it's the Home Shopping, home shopping. Channel. Yeah. And it's uh, the guy that does the sports memorabilia. What's his name again? Don. 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 Oh, whatever. He's just Don. He's our pal Don. And uh, he's he was selling uh, Tiger Woods rookie card. Now, I didn't even know they made golf cards. Like cards for golf. Who the hell's collecting those? As a kid, you got the baseball cards. And then occasionally someone would, like, you come across a football card or something. Now there's cards for everything. NASCAR cards. Who I got a Jeff Bodine. Who cares? How about uh, cop cards? Cop cards? You haven't seen those? No. Oh, yeah. They give them out in the community so the kids <laughs> feel a little better about the cops in their neighborhood. Are you kidding? You haven't seen those? Wait a minute. Is this what they're trying to do? Some of the precincts, they, they have, uh, yeah, like trading cards, uh, but the, instead of like uh, baseball players, it's uh, the cops that patrol the streets. What are the stats on the back? <laughs> 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 wow, cop cards. Yeah. Who the hell thought of that? You know, the kids like the cards. So if we put the, and they, they worship the people on the cards. So if we put cops on the cards, they're going to treat them a lot better. Oh, please. That doesn't work. You're not going to uh, respect somebody because they're on a card. Please. So the, uh, I, was, I was watching the uh, QBC or the home shopping guy. He was going crazy for this Tiger Woods rookie card. Oh, $10,000 for a Tiger Woods rookie card. $10,000. That's how he talks now. I really was, like, watching the way he talked. <laughs> You're studying. He's out of his mother effing mind. And, and this poor son of a bitch that's working with him cannot get a word in edgewise. You, as I'm talking, uh, I'll, I'll pause. You try to jump in and just say something about how great this card is. Okay. We got the Tiger Woods rookie card. This thing is now valued at $10,000. And you're really going to... No, you don't understand. This is a bargain. It's not for everybody. But it's a bargain at $10,000. And have you seen the... I can't explain <laughs> to you if you'd shut your goddamn mouth. Why are you always stepping on me? Ten thousand dollars. The greatest golfer. In I the shut the whole <laughs> f up, you goddamn crotch. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get the Tiger Wood rookie card in ten jam mint condition. Jam mint condition. Jam mint condition. People, this is top of the line. I'm not even gonna open this up, Rick. Don't even write down. Let's open it up. He was talking this card up. How many did he have to give away? He, he had like six. That's it. Six. And he kept saying, now this isn't for everyone. This one, and it's... And then they keep escalating what it's going to go up to. So he's like, $10,000. But let me tell you, next week we're selling this for $20,000. $20,000. And then the other guy chimes in for the two seconds he can get a word in edgewise. I, I wouldn't be surprised by the end of the month. This is a $40,000 card. I see it going to fifty. <laughs> they had this thing talked up to $90,000. $90,000. Before uh, uh, they, they uh, got rid of it. Uh, Give me three minutes on the clock because I'm going to have a hemorrhage. <laughs> <laughs> so he's trying to sell this thing. Gem Mint 10, which is the highest uh, condition. Pristine, as they call it. Then the very next deal. It's the same effing card with three more uh, uh, Tiger Woods cards with it. So you're getting the same card that was just for sale for ten grand, and three more for twenty six hundred dollars because it was gem uh, uh, or mint nine point five, not ten, but only nine point five, which is like the same card. So his whole strategy is. You're watching this going, God damn, $10,000. And he talks you up so much. Like, there could be a pile of dog crap. Look at this dog crap. It's creamy. It's got things in it like Alpo. You got to buy it $5,000. And by the time he's done and goes, give me three on the clock. <laughs> you're like, I got to have that crap. I need this dog crap. You're jonesing, chomping at the bit.
start figuring out how much uh, money you got left on your uh, credit New card. New stretch pay. Two payments of five grand. And, and, and you're freaking out. So then his strategy is no one could afford the $10,000 card. They know no one's going to call up and buy a $10,000 card. What do you got, 10 grand? They just blow like that? So they do that knowing no one's going to buy it. But then when they show you the same card at a 9.5, it's the same thing. Now for 2600 get me the phone! And you get the three extra cards. You're freaking out. He got me. I almost called. You almost? I was so close. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to be working, but I needed that card. <laughs> $10,000. Uh, that's pretty funny. Speaking of the cop cards, yeah. Anthony Tim is on the line. Tim, what's up? Hey, guys. How you doing? All right. Uh, I live up in the suburbs up here in Westchester. Yeah. And our cops have the cop cards. And as soon as you said that, I found one that... Uh, These I are the cards they give out in the community. So the uh, so the kids feel like, uh, you know, they could go up to the cops. And and look at this. It's a Keith the Cop rookie card. <laughs> and it's autographed. It's even autographed. It says his name... Traffic enforcement officer on the back. It has crime prevention safety tip. Always wear your seatbelt when riding in a motor vehicle. We do. Of course, they never do. No. <laughs> and it says uh, he has been with the police department since 86. He enjoys playing softball, basketball, and golf. He enjoys reading and watching science fiction. His favorite sports are baseball, golf, and skiing. Screw that. How about his stats? Did he, uh, did he uh, lead the precinct in collars? It's yeah, a, that's what I would want, like collars that. and stuff. <laughs> right. How, yeah. much, how much is this guy taking in? How many guys off the street? It doesn't say. It just says about how, when he, where he came, uh, when he came in, what he loves, and his safety tip. I don't like the cushy cop stories. Yeah, it doesn't have uh, uh, stats about uh, how many hits the cop had last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it doesn't say how many times he's clubbed the colored folk, no. Oh, my God. Oh, well. Hey, my brother's a cop, uh, NYPD. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> you know what it is, too, with the uh, the stats and stuff? It, it, no one, I don't want the cushy cop thing. I don't like that. I, I, I would like the collars on the back. I don't want to care if he, he likes baseball or uh, science fiction movies. Wait, are you going out on a date? I want to know what he's doing. Right. It's like, uh, it's like the commercials that they were showing. Remember the cop commercials for uh, recruitment? For a while, they showed someone setting up a goddamn block watch organization. There's a cop walking around going, yeah, and we set up a community block watch, and he's walking around smiling, shaking hands with the little kids and stuff, and they realized that wasn't working. What'd they go to? Showing cops running out of SWAT vehicles, pumping shotguns, and then it's like, yeah, that's what you want to see. There you go. Galloping their horses down the street, racking some heads. Bruno, what's going on? Uh, nothing. The, that rookie card? Yeah. The Tiger it's worth Wood. nothing. Three years, it's not backed by any major uh, deal or like Tops or anything like that or Fleet. Yeah, I didn't know where even where it know where it came from because usually it's Fleet or like you said Tops, some kind yeah, of. Yeah, they'll sell it for. It'll go out in like three years. It'll be worth like uh, maybe a thousand bucks. Five years down the road, no one will even care. Given us. Well, for some reason now it's worth ten thousand dollars. Yeah, ten. In my A. That's ridiculous. It, 10, who, did anyone buy it? Uh, he said, we got to call it. He was very excited when he got one call on. And then he goes, well, we got to take it off now. And, but we're going to have these it was next week for $20,000. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bruno, thank you. Uh, let's go to David. Hey, David, what's up? Hey, what's up, L&A? Hey. Hey, on the shop at home, there's always a the guy that calls up on the phone. Yeah, too, he's on like the phone, he... and he can't get a word in edgewise either. <laughs> and he tries to sound like uh, Don. Right, right. He's all yelling and everything, and Don just, like, cuts him right off. Like, where is he, though? Is he out, like, scouting deals or something? Yeah, or why can't... You... I, I was thinking that, too. The guys... One guy's on a bad cell phone, and then Don's in the studio. Why can't the other guy just be in there, too? Right. <laughs> it's very and... important to scout new carts. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, and, you know, and like yes, last night they call him the Griffey. They call him the Griffey rookie card. It's going to be the most valuable card since the Mantle rookie. Well, Mantle in '52 they only printed like so many of the cards. They exactly, print forty million of them. Now you know? there, everybody has a Griffey, a McGuire, a Sosa. There are so many of these cards out there that every time they have a deal, it's and you get the McGuire and Sosa rookie cards. I got a McGuire rookie card sitting on my desk. It's like covered with crap and soup and everything. I, it's not worth crap. It's nothing. There's nothing. Nothing. The mo they got the mother's cookie rookie. <laughs> <laughs> cookie rookie. All right, David. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. All yeah, right. It's such a scam. I don't know who's buying this stuff. All right, we got to take a quick break. We'll be back. 212-757-1027.
You people never cease to amaze me. Opie and Anthony. Those guys suck ass. Yeah. This is a stupid radio show. Relax. Wonderful. And while we're at it, we can light up a doobie and watch porn. That's quality radio. Damn straight. 1027. WNEW.